How about new splitting axe? I never seen one before like that to where you can put different attachments on like this is like a plastic rubber mold so that way whenever you're heating on the splitting wedges it's not so loud or any kind of like metal pieces it's not so loud uh, when you heat steel on steel it's incredibly loud and can uh, recoil a lot so it will have a less recoil and you can put as you can see splitting wedge over here like almost like a splitting wedge but it's become an ox and you need one of these huge allen ranges to open it and you can put a, like a steel ball over here like this one but steel one so just different attachments goes on here i thought this one was the coolest one i bought one of that so yeah that is super unique don't you guys think i think i'm gonna put it to the test splitting firewood and using this and on a splitting wedges to see how it does um, hopefully it'll be pretty quiet and very effective and it will hold up really well because you see it's pretty tight in here and it's a big bolt very unique splitting axe with a mold how about 150 dollar gold microtech uh, handkerchief so yeah this thing sells for about 150 dollars what's so special about it you may ask this is a microfiber uh, towel so you that way you clean your collectible knives that cost over a thousand dollars especially the one that is like mirror polished so they have made microtech this is a knife maker in Arden, north carolina they produce some otf knives as such very very famous so this is why they have made this little 150 dollar uh, handkerchief to clean your own knives or you can actually put it in your pocket whatever a lot of people will just buy it as a collector piece and will not use it on their knives a lot of people will you know what if you have extra money why not uh, why not collect something some people enjoy cars some people enjoy knives some people enjoy purses you know to each their own so they go 150 dollar handkerchief with this beautiful claw there are a bunch of different color ones as well super cool and very unique i never uh, spent so much money on a handkerchief or microfiber towel that's for sure got it here electric stapler have you seen anything like that so you push it and this will pop out and then you'll put your staples in here oh just like that that's it i have a few staples so you don't need any kind of spring on it as well and just lock it in that's it and all you have to do is plug it in and you can staple it 30 sheets at a time there's no button or anything you just put it in and it staples it i kind of like it that there's not on batteries and also it comes with the stickies on the bottom of it this side here is 15 pieces of paper and as you can see it's quite thick so let's see if it does it all we have to do is just put it wow that's so easy and all the way that was powerful let's do another one next to it wow missed it a little bit that is so cool you can almost make your own notebook okay let's see if we can do 30 pretty much what we're gonna do is double it up so we don't waste paper and that's 30 look how thick that is can it do it like they said let's find out oh my gosh it staple it kind of you probably need bigger staples you see you probably have to buy bigger staples it works so well look at it next to each other i can't believe it look at that all the way through wow how about color flame candles those are really cool for the birthdays so there's a two of each what we'll do is just light them up and turn off all the lights there's blue red pink and the actual color of the candle will be the flame so we're gonna light up all of these candles separate them you see the red and purple definitely have different color to it the purple have much more purple red is less red uh, you see purple is obviously beautiful 
more beautiful. And then the green one and the yellow burns really well. The blue burns as blue, just like a gas stove, kind of unique. That is so cool. So there you go, birthday candles in different colors. The purple and the blue are really close to each other. So is the red and the pink are really close to each other. Almost cannot tell the difference, but still. Uh, this blue kind of turning greenish a little bit more. These two look alike. And yellow is definitely different. So at least you get green, red, and yellow. Still very beautiful to look at. One of a kind, I really like that a lot. Uh, burn time, as you can see, plenty of time and burning super well. <sighs> Easy to blow them off as well. So this is a really cool birthday candles option. Got out here another miniature flashlight lantern. Uh, comes with a little carabiner and as you can see it could be like a power bank. Oh yeah, there is a flashlight over here. Beautiful. Whoa, that is bright. And you got that yellow light. That is incredibly bright. What just happened? Why is it changing? Oh wow, no way. It comes with the a charger you just open it and plug it in into your laptop so very easy to charge it and obviously you can plug it in in here and charge your cell phone with that oh it says take me off the demo mode that's okay by um, plugging into any powered USB port that's it all we have to do is plug it in into a power bank and it will take off the demo mode that's kind of cool Quick demo mode, there is a on, uh, bunch of um, dots, blue dots, tells you how charged it is. And you see how you can uh, just do few lights, not all of them, or you can set them on all of them. Again, this is on demo mode and there's a lot of little LEDs, you see how they're gonna turn off on one side, so that way you save the battery, but still have light very cool flashlight everybody probably seen and used a box cutter and it's like regular blade very useful guess what one time i showed you this hook once and everybody said they use it for shingles there you go there's a hook that's beautiful on this right here outdoor edge a box cutter and whenever you want to replace it and use the flat one for opening boxes or whatever you prefer lock it in and there is your regular blade that's quite unique have you guys seen a blade like that to where you get both a hook and a regular blade interesting gerber got new hatchets and camping axe gonna do a little unboxing very genius packaging for sure interesting i guess anti-shocking system pretty heavy ox but i kind of want to put to the test wow look at that uh, folder chief seems to be more of a splitting axe less of a chopping axe but we'll put that to the test it's quite heavy interesting shape handle as you can see okay and let's unbox this one as well it's just the same thing look it has a hanging part over here love that seems to be a lot a lighter but still very very hefty ox i wonder if it will be pretty fun swinging it and hitting it, hitting it because all that part over here is metal obviously the hammer part is very strong as well so yeah new hatchets and axes by gerber really excited to put them to the test waterproof socks a lot of people have concerns that you just put in a plastic on your feet and it's not going to breathe to your sock well you know what if you put in a rubber boots on it's kind of same thing it's not going to breathe to the sock but at the same time you see there's plenty of uh, fabric so it does not feel like you're wearing a uh, plastic on your feet it actually has the fabric so on the inside of it and on the inside of it and it's stretchy um, so it's like having socks on and the rubber shoes on that's what it feels like except quite stretchy not just like rubber shoes so if you're wondering is it gonna sweat your feet obviously it's gonna sweat your, your feet some people have extra sweaty feet some people less and if you put regular socks on 
into the rubber shoes in the summertime, your feet going to sweat a lot. There's just no way around it. But at the same time, this is super cool uh, shoes. In case you're hiking, I think it's still going to be pretty comfortable. I mean, it probably will make you sweat a little bit extra, but if your shoe's gonna get wet, you don't have to worry about um, your socks getting wet. Like some people, you might enjoy this ones a lot. If you sweat a lot and you feel like it's not for you, maybe it's not a good idea buying them, but I still love the invention. There's a new apple pillar for sale. Check this out. It can hold some big major apples. I feel like this one's almost too small of an apple for this stuff. And look how well it sits in there. Boom! Slice up so well. Wow, this is probably the best apple peel right here. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit straighter apple. So, apple peelers are pretty satisfied. Oh, kind of went sideways anyway, so you want to push it a little bit more uh, straight. Very powerful.